Welcome to the 3296 Weather Podcast. Today is Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. This episode of the 3296 Weather Podcast is brought to you by Bacon Roofing. At Bacon Roofing, we are a lot more than roofing. Visit Bacon Roofing at baconroofing.com. All right, well, good morning. It's a nice, crisp morning out there. Temperatures in the mid-30s, lower 30s if you're in the rural areas. It's a very nice morning. Had a cold front move through uh, late last night and brought the winds around to the north. About 5 to 10 miles an hour has cooled us off. Today will be a nice day, much like yesterday. Maybe not quite as breezy, uh, about the same temperature-wise. We'll get into that in a second. But overall, uh, a, a very benign weather pattern that we're dealing with, so let's dive right into it. So as I mentioned, we had uh, the weather system on Monday go through. That's affecting the southeastern United States at this point. Had another weak front come through. Uh, like like I said, late last night, early this morning, is going to keep us cool today into the mid-50s, maybe upper 50s. A typical January day, if you will. As far as cloud cover, we don't have a lot of cloud cover out there. We have some clouds that are in southwest Texas. Then we have some clouds in Oklahoma, so nothing uh, to write home about by any means. We may see some passing high clouds today, but nothing that's uh, filtered sunshine, but nothing that's too... too, uh, going to affect make it a cloudy day that's for sure tonight we're going to get back down into the mid 30s uh, nothing to write home about and tomorrow we will get a little bit warmer we'll be in the mid 60s uh, plenty of sunshine so again not a whole lot going on from a weather standpoint this week now our next chance for rain which is a low chance will be saturday and sunday we're going to have another front move through again the pacific front not an arctic front so nothing uh, no no winter chill coming we'll have highs in the 60s lows in the 40s We'll have some scattered showers and thunderstorms around, mainly southeast of Dallas-Fort Worth. Could see some rain showers in our area, but again, if we did, it would probably be at the most a quarter of an inch. So it's uh, nothing that, uh, again, uh, much like the last couple systems, nothing flooding, uh, anything like that. Again, nothing to really be concerned about from an overall dryness standpoint. We are all fine from a drought standpoint, but January, like I've said, is the second driest month of the year next August, so it's something that we just don't want to get too dry, and so hopefully uh, in the middle of the month or the end of the month, we'll get some more rain that will keep us good going into the spring because, again, we don't want to have a dry spring, so just, just something to keep an eye on. As far as winter, winter is nowhere to be found. Uh, it is a typical winter day in Texas today, but no Arctic intrusions that we can see the next week or so. But don't worry if you're that's your sort of thing. February is right around the corner. I know it's January 4th. but <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode of the 3296 Weather Podcast. You can follow me, your host, Jeff Bickerstaff, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch for all the latest flood information for North Texas. During severe weather events, tune into my live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for listening, and remember, I'm watching the weather so you don't have to. Hope everyone has a great day, and we will talk to you soon.